Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we will learn how to write files in Groovy and this is a part of file input output. We have already learned how to read files in the last session and today we will learn in a very easy way how to write files in Groovy. So let's get started. I will go to my Eclipse and this is the project that we created earlier. I will go to this package, do a right click, new, others and search for groovy if you get an option for groovy class you can select that otherwise go to groovy type next and here select class and give a class name so i will say this is write file and finish and i can remove the class here and can do my coding directly so now to create a file i will say file and give any name i will say my file equals new file and in the brackets I have to give the location of my file so if I just give file name I will say data1.txt so this will create a file at the root location of this folder which is this so inside this folder first groovy project it will create this file otherwise you can also give an absolute location like we have done in the last session when we were reading file so you can give that and then there are multiple ways to write I can say my file dot right and in the brackets I can give the string or data so here I will say right and I will give data here I will say this is line 1 and I will do a right click and run as groovy script so they should create the file and write the data if I go to my project do a right click and I will refresh I can also press F5 on my keyboard and you can see the file is created here data1.txt and if I go inside this file the data is here this is line 1 I can also print the contents of my line by saying println my file.txt so the text function I can use to print the content on the console now I can also use a left shift operator which is this and give the data I can say this is line 2 and if I run this now I should have the data in my file and you can see this is there even if I go to my file here this data is append it now if you want to put it in, a, it in a new line I can use the new line operator which is backslash and n and this should push it into a new line if I run this now here you can see now it is coming in separate lines so you can do like this and then you can also say my file dot txt so this is the text function and equals to whatever data you want to add or whatever string you want to add here I will say this is line 3 and that's it now if I run this now I will run as a groovy script now do you see we have just this data that we added here and even if I go to my file I just have a single line which is this is line 3 so this function text actually uh, overrides everything in your file so make sure that whenever you want to use this text function it will override and you can use this at the end like you have all your data in a string you can just push the entire string into the file using this text function so you can do like this I'm just going to comment this out for now and then the other ways are I can also use a writer so I can say my file dot with writer and this is available in groovy and it also uses closures and here I will say writer hyphen and arrow and I will say writer dot write line and I will give my line here I will say this is line 3 or oh, let me see this is line 4 and that's it now again when I run this let us see what happens to the file when I run this you can see it is again overwriting everything and we just have this is line 4 data in the file and the same thing you can see in the file so again this will overwrite so what I can do is I can say 
my file dot append and here I can put my data so I will say this is line 5 and if I run this now you can see we have this is line 4 and this is line 5 added so if I go to the file again I can see this is line 5 is here so it will append and not override so you can use something like this and then if you want to just see the length of, of your file in bytes or size I can say my file dot length and this will give you the size of your file in bytes so I will say println my file dot length function and then there are some other functions that you can use with file so I can say my file dot is file so it will return true if it is a file similarly I can say my file dot is directory it will return true in case it is a directory otherwise false and again I can say my file dot hidden so if your file is a hidden file it will print true otherwise false so if I run this now you can see all these things so this is the size in bytes then is file is true is directory is false and is hidden is also false so all these things you can check here and then in case you want to uh, push your data or copy your data into a new file you can say def I can give any file name like new file and then say new file and I will give the name data2.txt and here you can also use a file like we have used earlier or you can use def which will work in groovy and now I will say new file and I will use the left shift operator and say my file dot text so all the text or data which is there in my file should be pushed to this new file and I will run this and if I go and refresh my project now I should have the new file I will say refresh and here you can see we have got this new file and if I go you can see we have all the data pushed here so this is how you can um, push the data or copy the data into a new file and I can also remove the data or make my file empty I can just say my file dot bytes equals to and give this empty list here and if I run this now and you can see there is nothing printed and if I go to my file it is now empty so you can empty your file or clear the data from your file like this uh, you can also rename your file I can say my file dot rename and I can either give a destination or I can give a string with a path name so I will just say rename to and this is new file dot txt and if I run this now so here there is some exception so okay so we have to give something like new file and I will give this in brackets and now if I run this yes this is working fine if I go and refresh my project I can see there is a actually a new file getting created so that is fine it has actually pushed my entire data into a new file I can see this and of course because the file was empty it is also empty and finally I can also delete my file by saying my file dot delete and this should delete the file so if I run this now and I will refresh the project and you can see data1.txt is no longer there so this is how you can delete the file and this is how you can do all the right operations in a file in Groovy 
I hope this session was very useful for you. Thank you for watching.